Okay, hello everyone. <coughs> I'm Mehdi. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, hello everyone. As you know, I'm Mehdi Bolzadeh. I'm a PhD student at, at the Software Engineering Lab of University of Mons, uh, working with Professor Tom Menz. Uh, here I'm going to present the result of our study with Dr. Alexandre Likon and Natarajan Chidambaram about the accuracy of the bug detection techniques. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, with the advent of collaborative software development, the step to produce a software is not like uh, before anymore. And many developers contributing to the code remotely and asynchronously, and uh, this distributed the style of development and social activities of developers in social coding platforms has increased the workload of software developer and repository maintainer. To, re to reduce this workload, Developers adopt automated tools and uh, to perform repetitive tasks uh, in their development process. Such tools are all uh, are uh, commonly known as development bots or simply dev bots. Uh, they are being used to facilitate code review, uh, code reviews, uh, code quality analysis, communication, and dependency management, and so on. Uh, bots are quite prevalent. And in one of our studies, uh, after rating 5,000 accounts, GitHub accounts, to create a ground truth data set, we found around 500 bots. And uh, in another study, Vessel et al. also reported 93 bots in 351 projects. So they are quite prevalent. Um, and also we analyzed in a small data set of uh, uh, GitHub repositories, and we found they are among active contributors. So it's essential to study bots. Uh, researchers have proposed and used techniques to, uh, or simply, or simple heuristics to distinguish bots, uh, bot accounts from human accounts. For example, in one of our previous studies, we proposed a classification model to identify bots based on their commenting activity in GitHub. We also proposed a tool to facilitate the use of this model. They at all have used an ensemble technique to identify bots in GitHub commit activities. In another study, we proposed a technique and a tool to identify bots in GitHub uh, commit messages called BodyGeek. Uh, Saadat et al. have used and, uh, the presence of a string bot in the username of accounts to identify bots. Uh, another study of us uh, based on uh, NLP techniques. Recently, Abdel Latif et, uh, et al. have proposed Bot Hunter uh, to identify bots in GitHub, uh, which is published after this uh, after submission of this paper. Uh, there is also a GitHub account type uh, that indicates bot account and the list of bots, which is which can be a method to detect uh, identify bots. Uh, in this research, our, our main goal is to answer two research questions. Uh, research question one is how to create, uh, how to how accurate our uh, bot detection techniques. Research question two, how prevalent are bots among the most active contributors? And research question three, how active are bots in terms of comments? Uh, to do so, we need a data set. Uh, and we used a SEER tool to, uh, which is basically a data set of uh, GitHub repositories and then this, their specification. We queried repositories with uh, at least 200 contributors, not for have been active at, le uh, at least two months of previous before our study, and uh, has at least 1,200 uh, commits. And we created a data set, a small data set of 20 repositories. Uh, from diverse programming languages like JavaScript, Python, Java, PHP, Ruby, and Net, uh, and uh, a diverse set of project like uh, uh, type of project like uh, packages, plugins, and tools. And in, uh, with this uh, 27 repositories in total uh, consist of 175,000 commits and uh, from uh, 9,500 contributors. Uh, we use these uh, five techniques uh, to identify a type of accounts in these repositories, type uh, actually most active accounts in these repositories because there are a lot of accounts and it was not possible to check all of them. And uh, uh, 
the result is shown this in this figure. Uh, uh, um, uh, in this figure, uh, we only uh, uh, report accounts that uh, have predicted at least once by uh, predicted as but once by one of the techniques. Uh, to, for ease of read, I make it uh, a bit larger uh, and I want to explain some of the uh, observation in this figure. Uh, from the figures, uh, we observe that the list of bots, uh, bot suffix and GitHub account type are safer techniques in the sense that they don't wrongly uh, classify human contributors as bots. At the same time, they, are, they miss some of the, uh, a lot of bots in the repository. We also observe that Bodegeek effectively captures most of the bots, uh, but at the same time, it has uh, some false positive cases. Uh, Bodega uh, shows a similar behavior, but given that Bodega is mainly designed for bots that are active in commenting activities, the result is less accurate. Uh, except for a few cases, the five techniques uh, are not do not even agree uh, on whether a given account is bot or not, but at the same time, only four, four of the actual bots are not detected by any of the techniques. Uh, uh, we note that one, none of the techniques uh, is perfectly effective in detecting bots. So we combine uh, all of these techniques to create an ensemble bot, ensemble uh, classifier, sorry. Uh, the results of uh, the, the uh, accuracy of this ensemble uh, classifier is compared to uh, the previous model and a baseline zero R. Uh, we trained this classifier uh, using uh, a, this a small data set that we created and we use cross validation to evaluate it. Uh, we see that uh, the, some, there is a, a bit of improvement in the result of uh, this uh, about identification and the F1 score of this model is better than the, each uh, sole technique. Uh, so uh, for RQ2, how prevalent are bots among uh, the active contributors? Uh, this figure shows the uh, active accounts in uh, these projects, uh, top 20 active accounts in these projects. We observe that uh, all of the considered uh, projects are making use of bots. Uh, some of them even have four different bots among top uh, 20 active contributors. And uh, 18 out of 27 uh, projects have, uh, have a bot in the top three contributors. Uh, we see uh, bots actually are among active uh, contributors. Uh, we use the or ensemble model to identify uh, to identify these bot accounts. Uh, in this set of repositories, and uh, we see uh, this model is still uh, mm, misses an, a non negligible amount of bots uh, uh, in this uh, set of projects. Uh, and also, the model uh, mm, uh, classifies some human account as bots wrongly. So, uh, we have a still, uh, we our model is not very uh, optimum yet. Uh, we have seven uh, human contributors that are detected as bots. As for research question three, that uh, we want to, uh, uh, the main goal is to uh, quantify the number of commits made by bots in their respective project. Uh, the figure uh, reports on proportion of uh, commits made by each account, we distinguish between human contributors and contributors that classify as bots, bot contributors and bot contributors missed uh, by or ensemble classifier. Uh, or ensemble model is able to detect most of the bots. Uh, however, it is still misses some of them. Uh, uh, and these uh, missed ones are responsible for uh, 4.7 on average uh, commits of uh, in their respective repositories. Uh, on the other hand, ensemble model also wrongly classifies uh, 
uh, classified seven human contributors at BOT, which is which are on average responsible for 10.4% uh, of, uh, of comment. Uh, on average, uh, approximately 16% of uh, commits uh, in these projects are made by bots, even if the uh, uh, proportion of bots are 9% of uh, all uh, accounts in these projects. Uh, the main conclusion is that the bots are responsible for a large proportion of commits. Uh, for summary, uh, in this study, we compared existing bot detection techniques. Uh, we showed that none of them techniques is perfectly effective in detecting bots. Uh, we created uh, an ensemble classifier model based on these techniques. Uh, we examined the prevalence of uh, bots among active, con all, uh, active contributors of all these projects that make use of uh, all these projects show that they make use of bots. Uh, we found that bots are among the most active contributors and they are uh, in charge of a large proportion of comments. Uh, as for future work, uh, we aim to complete this model by adding Byman, uh, which is uh, proposed by uh, uh, Day et al. Uh, and we aim to compare uh, the or ensemble model with Bot Hunter proposed by Abdelatif et al. Uh, we aim to create a larger data set of repositories and evaluate uh, our model on a larger set of uh, accounts. Uh, also, we aim to uh, use more advanced uh, ensemble classification model to create our model. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, I would be happy to answer if, any, if there are any questions. Thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> we have a couple of questions in the chat and I think I'll, I'll start with them. So there's one from Tom, he wrote, in your presentation, you compared the prediction accuracy of five different bot detection techniques. 